You're listening to Love Talk Live with the relationship expert, Jamie Bronstein, only on L.A. Talk Radio. Hello and welcome to Love Talk Live. I'm your host, Jamie Bronstein. Today I have with me Cam Kashani. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Excited to be here. I'm so excited that you're here also because... Uh, we have so much to talk about, mm-hmm. like your podcast and this new, we're going to surprise you with what she's starting after I read your bio, but you're starting <laughs> something. I'll just give you a hint. It has to do with goddess. So get excited. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to read to you guys a little bit about Cam and then we're going to just have so much fun and get so inspired. Yes. Oh, yes, Cam, what? What did you say? Oh, I thought you said something. Oh, I just said, as we always do, we always have fun. <laughs> we always have so much fun. I know. We might laugh through the whole show. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> we're, very, we're very giggly, but that's good. Okay. Okay. So Cam Kashani is a four-time award-nominated Sacred Queen Embodiment Guide, awakened leadership expert, and inspirational speaker, leading women in to their true authentic core power, allowing them to embody their inner queen. She hosts a popular podcast called The Cam Kashani Show, focused on redefining beauty, body, and self, and has worked with 5,000, over 5,000 people, and it was named the most inspirational by Inc. Magazine, and has been featured in Forbes, Entrepreneur, LA Magazine, the LA, the Los Angeles Times, Delta Sky Magazine, and more. She is also a single mom of twin boys who are adorable, by the way. We still have to plan that play date. Yes. She is a three-time business founder and has been an expert speaker with the U.S. Department in a program proven to ward off extremism by empowering the women and youth overseas. Cam has her MBA in entrepreneurship and marketing, in addition to a degree in advanced spiritual psychology, which... I attended with you. Okay. (laughs) So, Cam, let's just get centered. Let's get started. Let's get balanced. Let's hear about, and you can choose, do you want to talk about your podcast or your Sacred Queen community new thing that you are launching or anything else you'd like to talk about? (laughs) The world is our oyster. (laughs) Oh, and we're going to talk so much about dating so just (laughs) everyone we're talking about dating also okay great yeah okay well let's start with my podcast only because it's top of well both of these things are top of mind but i literally just recorded my first um episode of season two a couple days ago and it'll be coming out this week so i'm super excited about that the podcast has been you know it was something that i had this vision of wanting to do for a very long time and, but I wasn't clear on like what and why, and I didn't want to just have a podcast to have a podcast. Like I really wanted it to be meaningful. And so I got really clear on, you know, my whole thing in life is empowering people, right? And, and helping them question societal norms and societal conditioning and all these ways that we're trained to believe is the way we're supposed to be. And nobody is actually able to fully allow themselves to be their true self. And so this podcast came from this space. That's why it's called, it's called the Cam Kashani show, but redefining beauty, body, and self, like really flipping all of these standards that we've been told and, you know, conditioned to believe and flipping them on its head and telling them like, it's bullshit. Like we don't need to, we don't need to abide by any beauty standards and we don't need to abide by any body standards. We don't need to abide by any self standards, like who I am, who you are, whoever is watching this, we're all individuals and we're all sovereign souls, but we're taught to be a part of this herd, you know, like a part of this, this, herd mentality, if you want to call it that. And I am the anti that. (laughs) I'm like, no, we don't do herds. We do camp. (laughs) And I want everyone to feel that comfortable in their own skin and everyone to feel that empowered to be with the truth of who they are. So that's what the podcast is all about. And I've done episodes ranging from sexual shame to addiction, to body image, 
to so many things. And my recent one was body autonomy, which I'm very excited about as well. And, you know, look curious and excited to see where it all goes. I love that you're doing this podcast because yes, like we all need and have the freedom to be who we are. Yeah. And that goes with my clients also. It's, it's, I, I, it's like, it takes so much energy to be anything else but ourselves. Mm -hmm. So just embrace who we are, have that freedom to just flow and just live in the beauty and the majesty and the magicalness of, of who we are and for all of us to shine our light. And so I love that you are doing this with your podcast also. And you guys, Cam Kashani, she is a force to be reckoned with. I mean, <laughs> I just, I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, there are certain people in this world and a lot of us are, are US, US um, grads, which we're talking about spiritual psychology, that there's something in all of us, I feel like, that, that go through the USM spiritual psychology program where we, we want to be extraordinary. We want to share extraordinary messages and change the world. So yes. mazel yes. tov to all of this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It feels really, really good. It feels really, really good. And um, I guess that kind of naturally leads into what I'm doing now. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect segue. <laughs> so um, as you said in the intro, I'm a sacred queen embodiment guide. So I help, you know, women specifically right now, at some point there will be men involved, but right now specifically women, connect to their inner queen. And your inner queen is this really beautiful, authentically empowered place that lies within each and every single woman. It is the divine feminine energy, the goddess energy, the queen energy. It's the truth of who we are. And once again, not who we've been conditioned to be, mm -hmm. right? And I truly believe that every single one of us in another life is a queen. So there is that part of us that's there. It's present. It's in our soul. It's in our consciousness for sure. Are we aware of it? No, not necessarily because we've been conditioned and programmed to believe that women fit this role in society and that role in society, right? So keeping all that in mind, I was like, well, how can I create something that's going to be able to help women on a broader scale? Because I was doing one-to-one -one coaching and it's beautiful, but I want to make a greater impact. So I was like, what can I do to help more people? So I'm building this beautiful platform called the Sacred Queen Community, where it's this platform of a community and an academy together. So there's mm -hmm. this community component, which is, a, it's going to be, it, it is highly vetted and, you know, uh, application only, like very conscious of creating a very safe and sacred space where we uplift one another, empower one another, inspire one another, really, really be like that tribe, that sisterhood tribe for one another, where we just are really able to just have that support that we so desperately need, especially at a time in the world like this right now, like <laughs> we need as much love and support as possible. There's so much negativity on social media. There's so much negativity and hate everywhere that you're looking and the news is just fear, 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 fear. Like this is a beautiful, safe space where women can come, it's like a sanctuary, where you're able to come and be uplifted and inspired. And in addition to the community component, there's an academy component. So the academy component is a bunch of courses and content and all these different beautiful things I'm creating and putting together to help women actually um, implement the tools that they need in order to tap into that queen and be the queen and be the most empowered aspect for your, of yourself. And the vision of this is creating the new archetype of woman. Mm -hmm. Really having the like the new standard, so to say, of woman, which is the true standard of woman. <laughs> it's yeah. like who we actually are. So right now I'm doing a pilot round, which I'm very excited about. I've got a good group of women in there. We're testing things out and come probably October is when I will open it up to the public. And like I said, it will remain application only. I'm gathering a wait list right now as we speak. And I'm just really so grateful to do this and so excited to see where it all goes. 
I love that you're doing this. You are the perfect person to do this. Thank you. And what I what I especially love is that you're not just, you know, in life, when we learn things, that's something you can learn things up here, but then to actually put it into action, to put it in, into experiential action and to yeah. actually live it and be it, yeah. it's different. Yeah. So it's amazing that you're you're going to be teaching, but then also like putting them in the field, so to speak, or, or yes. having them live it. Yes. Because, mo and that's the thing, like most people don't realize, like you could go to class after class after class after class, but unless you're actually integrating what you're learning into your life, it's literally pointless. Absolutely. And so it's so important to learn this stuff, but then actually go from like here, from your head to your heart and live it. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you for saying that. It's, that's exactly what it is. It's like, it's one thing to, you know, learn the game. It's another to play the game. Right. Yep. So, so this is covering all aspects, all bases of here's the game. <laughs> here's how to play it. And here's an incredible team that's going to be with you. That's going to support mm -hmm. you. And it's going to love you through it. You know, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm so, so grateful and so excited about this. It's, it's going to be freaking amazing. <laughs> also, what is so great about you as a teacher, you know, you said the word play, like we need to play yes. in life. Yes. But everybody is, especially with what's going on, like people yes. take things very seriously. Yes. Life is so heavy and life is so serious, but it's all about perspective. You know, yeah. like it doesn't have to be as heavy and as serious and as daunting as people make it to be. 100%. So 100%. I love your message. I'm doing this also to like, let's lift people up, you know, yeah. and, and lighten up the load. Yes. Yes. Preach. <laughs> Woohoo! I love it. <laughs> and just to throw in here, just for fun, do you remember, mm -hmm. do you remember Sparkling Cam? <laughs> Sparkling Cam. Cam was on the show before, and this is a perfect segue into our next topic, because we're going to be talking about dating and getting in the dating world and everything. Of course. So we can update our viewers and our listeners. And um, This was, I think, two years ago. You were on the show. And we were talking about you getting in the dating world and being like that you're sparkling and like here's sparkling cam. And so for a while, every time I saw cam, it was like, you're sparkling cam. <laughs> and you're still sparkling. Thank you. I love sparkles. <laughs> Ooh, and we all have our sparkle within. Yes, exactly. So why don't we, let's talk about dating, um, what I do want to talk about the produce section, so put a pin. Oh my God. The <laughs> That's going to be like this is a foreshadowing for a little bit later on. You need to stay tuned to hear about the produce section and why produce oh section is anything. <laughs> yeah, so tell us, what have you learned about dating? Mm. What is the greatest thing you've learned about you're being out, you're out there again, second time around, you're dating? What have you learned? Even not just dating. What have you learned from relationships? What are some of these nuggets that you can inspire people with? Yeah, you know, it's a great, it's a loaded but great question. <laughs> you know, okay. So I will be, I'll be fair to say that first of all, I don't really date. <laughs> the, okay. What I mean by that is like, unless I meet somebody very naturally, you know, um, unless I'm like, I don't know, like at the grocery store or, or out in the world and like I meet and I vibe with somebody, sure, I'll go out on a date with them. But like, I don't do dating apps and stuff like that. Like I have, and it always just feels like an energy suck in so mm -hmm. many ways. So I've learned that by taking my energy away from those things that just don't feel aligned to me and instead put it fully in myself right? And fully date me and fully embody me and be, be the queen. Like <laughs> you end up attracting the right type of person that way, you know? And in terms of relationships and what I've learned, because since we've connected, there have been, you know, some, some people and 
the biggest takeaway really is you attract who you are and you are you whether or not you are consciously aware of that part of you within right and i kept attracting like a very similar type of guy mm. i kept attracting men that were either emotionally unavailable or that were uh in so, with i don't want to say anything negative but in some way shape or form mm, dishonest okay mm -hmm. And I was like, that's so weird because I'm super emotionally available and I'm also very honest. Like, what is it in me that keeps attracting this type of, what am I supposed to learn here? Yeah. And so I really sat with that and I discovered a few old masculine wounds that I had from childhood that I wasn't actually um, cognizant of. It wasn't fully in my awareness. It was sitting in my subconscious. So I kept attracting this type of guy so that I would be able to heal whatever the misbelief it was about men. So I had a story that men aren't trustworthy. Well, there you go. So of course I'm going to end up attracting men oh that aren't, right? So now that I've healed that, and, and I guess the point of this really is like, when you see a pattern showing up, look inside, right? It's not the other person. <laughs> it's really not. They're 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 there to help you actually. To teach you, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. If you're open to learning open to what they're learn. there to teach you. Exactly, exactly. And so I looked at each relationship and each situation and each guy and I was like, what am I missing? And once I was able to do that work. It's completely shifted and I've attracted a completely different type of guy now. And it's it's so much better. I'm not currently dating anyone in particular, um, but there's a few different people I'm like talking to and all of them seem to be way better. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know enough yet, but like, I'm just like, just from what I'm seeing, I'm like, okay. Clearly I've lifted in vibration because this is a different type of man I'm attracting now, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, so when we do this work, when we heal, when we show up authentically, we attract and manifest the guy who is aligned with our authentic self. Yeah. And if anything, if there are things that are left over that are unresolved, you're literally going to attract that. Yeah. So, and with that said, anybody, any man who's watching this show, and I think I did this last time two years ago, any man who's watching this show who happens to be looking for a lady like Kim Kashani, she is available and she's genuine and she's a gem. So, <laughs> as I do my hair. First and I'll bet him. <laughs> and she's she has done the work, so she's gonna need you to have done the work also, or at yeah. least in the middle of doing the work. We need like yeah. a confident, not mm -hmm. cocky, but confident, confident genuine guy. Conscious, genuine, yeah, like committed to the work inside. And that's that's a non-negotiable. Yes. You know, that is a 100% non-negotiable. The amount of work I've done to sit down and even have a conversation with someone who's unconscious, no, I'm good. You I imagine you showing up on your dates with your invoices from the coaching sessions and everything. <laughs> Seriously, like, I am a product of this. I'm up here, not in a cocky way, but I'm elevated. No, in a way. It's the truth. Yeah. It's yeah. Truth. Like, I'm not messing around. Yeah. yeah. You're not messing around. No, no. Not messing around. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to produce. <laughs> so, <laughs> perfect segue into produce. So, once again, see, this is fun. Oh I should God. have every guest come back every two years. So, <laughs> by the way, the, someone's playing the harmonic outside of. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Um, okay. So, let's see if it stops. Produce <laughs> section. So, on that show, we had we had another guest with us, this a male coach, and he talked about being. I'm gonna just close the window because <laughs> I mean, or maybe it's just beautiful music to go along with the show. Hold on. Okay. Um, <laughs> we talked about, this is perfect. He, he was brilliant. He brought up that if you want to meet a genuine guy, you got to go to the places where a guy who takes care of himself would be like in the produce section of the grocery store. Mm -hmm. 
Cam went there after. Yeah, right after the show. Right after the show. I'm like, I'm going to go to Whole Foods. And I'm going to go to the produce section. No dice, though. <laughs> I, thought you met, I thought you met a man eating an avocado right there. No? I'm kidding. I'm like, did I? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. So, but let's talk about this. Like, you know, people. so many people are all, all these girls are like, and guys, where do I find somebody genuine? Where do I go? And obviously through COVID, it was difficult. I always say, go where your joy is. Like, what are you passionate about? Join join a league of something. If you're a writer, join a writer's thing. If you're if you're into sports, do a sports thing. And even if you're a girl who's not into sports, it's fun to like join like a co-ed sports thing. Do things, get out there and go to, if you're in the grocery store, go to the healthy section. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. After the show, can you, can, you, can you go to Whole Foods again? Just for fun. <laughs> what if today is the day? No, not today. But I do I do have to say that ever since that show, every time I do go to the store, I'm a little more present and a little more aware of like my surroundings and like what's going on here. But so far, no luck. No luck in the grocery store. I've had like other places, but the grocery store, not so much. And I go to like Erewhon where everyone takes care of themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, any section there. <laughs> you know, like the French fries are organic and <laughs> with coconut oil. Oh, is so is very close quarters though. So that that could be kind of cute. It is. It's true. It's true. But yeah, <laughs> well, no luck in those things. But you know, I'll be honest. I think another thing to be cognizant of is don't be looking. I don't think it helps to right. you know, like to put that vibration of like, where is he? Where is he? Right. That's just like a desperation energy, and right. you're going to end up attracting something like that. Right. And we don't want that. You want to be like fully at peace and in love with yourself right. and trust fully that the right person will show up at the right time. I really believe that. And I love what you're saying because I, I agree. And I like when I, when I work with my clients in ideal scenes. They put together, you know, this visualization and they live their life as if. And then I say, you know what? And then just send it out there. The universe always knows what's in your heart. So it's like you've done the work. You put the work in to make these intentions and, and you're going to visualize. And you're going to live your life as if. However, then just sit back and relax and surrender. So when you do go to the grocery store, you are in that energy of whatever's for my highest good. It could happen. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And that trust component, I think, is so crucial, like in life in general, forget yeah. date, like in every aspect, it's it's a it's an element of surrender and trust, and trusting that yourself and the process and things will go the way they're meant to go for your highest good. Yes. And, and it's accepting everything in life versus resisting it and yes. knowing that life is happening yes. for us, yes. that the universe has our back. Yes, yes. I do want to say one more thing in terms of this concept that if you do see, let's say we're talking to girls right now. If you do see a fine, young, handsome, tall drink of water anywhere where you are at Starbucks, at Erwan, at the beach, wherever you are, go up to him. I'm a huge fan of that. Taking the opportunity because you have nothing to lose. Like, uh, you might disagree with me. You might I like, have views on that. So <laughs> you might be like the goddess. He should come up to me. Yeah. This is good. We're, we're disagreeing. This is good. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I really, I love when a man knows what he wants. There's nothing more attractive to me than that. But what if he doesn't see you? Oh, no. I'll make sure he sees me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And I'm I'll like, he sees me. I'll do a little smile. I'll do something. Okay. Open it up, okay. you know. But I'm not about to go up to him. His ass needs to come up to me. <laughs> well, then we're kind of com then we're compromising here because there are girls that like walk around like this. You oh, know, no, that's like funny. I don't want him to see me. You know. No, no. I'm like, hi, I'm right here. <laughs> okay. so make yourself known. You'll be like shimming near him. He'll be sparkling. Lights will be flashing, so he'll see you. 
Yes. <laughs> but let's talk about the average human out there. The average girl, she doesn't do that. That's true. So, so the girl it. who's a non cam or who hasn't gone through your academy yet, mm-hmm. I believe, like, especially for me, like, when I was single, I was, and, like, I'm just, I'm so picky. And so, and rightfully so, every woman should be picky. Yes. What you want. And so, and it's not every day that you see that guy who has potential. So that's why I encourage my clients to just take advantage of the moment. And I always say, like, you could go up to the guy and say, the sky is blue. You could say anything. It doesn't matter. If he's interested in you, he'll respond in a positive way. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I do. But again, it's so hot when a guy knows what he wants and goes after it. Like there's no more like that energy of like, oh, I see her and I'm going to go talk. That's confidence. That's power. That's masculine. And that's just like, it's just, it's beautiful. I love it. So if y'all see me out there, I ain't coming up to you. (laughs) Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. We, We need to do an experiment one day. Like, one day we're gonna dedicate and we're, and we'll we'll record this. Okay, let's okay. Do, let's, let's make this an awesome step. Okay, just for fun. <laughs> One day we're getting out in the field. Okay, okay. we're going to the grocery store. We're going to baseball practice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're gonna watch some guys playing baseball. We're we're just gonna go all around and then we'll go to a bar. Okay, whatever. And it's going to be an experiment. Okay, we're gonna okay. see. You putting yourself out there. We're gonna see the reactions. We're gonna get. We're going to gather data, and then we'll see. That's like because I have a hypothesis, and then we'll interview the guys after. Okay, <laughs> I have a hypothesis that even those guys that have the potential, and it's yes, it's so attractive for those guys to do that. But I do believe that there are still worthy guys that, for whatever reason, for sure, get into it. Maybe they're intimidated by you. Well, hundred percent, but I don't want a guy who's intimidated by me. You know, I want the guy who is going to be my equivalent. I want the guy who is right. going to be in that energy of like, I see her, she looks powerful. She looks this, she looks that, and I'm not afraid. And I'm going to go talk to her, you know, like okay. that. So that- now I was just having this conversation earlier about the word bitch. Okay. Here's my question. Let's say he thinks you look a little bitchy. Would you be like, yes, I own that? So, like, and if he doesn't want to come up to me, then that's his that's- fucking problem. Okay. Cause you own, <laughs> like, you own, I can be a bitch. I, you know, I, I, I don't like using that word because I feel yeah, like that perfect. word has such a negative connotation associated. But I am a woman who knows what she wants and who's not afraid to say it and who is very open and expressed and authentically empowered. So if that means that some people might call me that, by all means, do so. Do I feel that way about myself? No. Like I know, I know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if a man is like interpreting it in the wrong way, then he's not the right man for he's you. He's not the right guy. Mm-mm. He's not the right that guy. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah, nothing that is meant for you will pass you by. Exactly. That's the so that's the other element of trusting and surrendering to the process, right? Like, if there is someone that I'm supposed to meet, I will meet him. Yeah. There will be there will be something. Even if he doesn't come up and talk to me, maybe I'll like trip and he'll be like helping me out. I don't know. Like (laughs) there's going to be a way that we will meet and we will connect. I have no doubt. You know, it's crazy. I love bringing this up. I do this with my clients all the time. Like right now. So it's five something Mm -hmm. in LA. He's like doing something right now. Like what doing right now? Where is he? It's true. He's somewhere out there doing something. Yeah. And he's alive because you're definitely not going to be marrying a guy who's 36 years younger than you. Is that how it's going? I'm 40. <laughs> marrying a guy who's 40 years younger than you. No, no he's alive. <laughs> he's alive and he's hopefully older than me too. <laughs> he's old. Okay. So he's definitely alive. He's been born. Okay. Um, anything else? So we're almost out of time. Any, any nuggets of wisdom you want to leave our audience with and also plug yourself? Plug okay. everything we do. Yeah. So um, you can find me on my website, camkashani.com. My name's written at the bottom there. Or on Instagram at cam underscore kashani. I post a lot of 
helpful and powerful content to help women and everyone embody their queen. My podcast is also available through my website, camkashani.com, or you can go to camk.fm to see that. It's on Apple Mm -hmm. and Spotify. And as far as nuggets of wisdom, you know, it all comes down to be clear on who you are and what you want in this world. Don't allow other people's definition of success beauty, power, whatever it is, influence yours. Sit with yourself and gift yourself some time to really get to know yourself at a deep and intimate level. Because you can't experience intimacy with anyone if you're not fully intimate with you. Mm -hmm. We only are able to meet people at the point where we are at in our consciousness, right? And vice versa. So the more you go in depth with yourself, fall in love with yourself, be intimate with yourself and realize and truly get to a space of like, this is who I wish to be in the world. This is what success looks like to me. And this is what beauty looks like to me. And this is what da, 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 da. like really getting those down. It will make such a beautiful change in regard to how you experience life and how you feel about yourself. So beautiful. And to sum that up, it's basically that we need to love ourselves unconditionally. That means no matter what and embrace ourselves for all that we are so that we can manifest our match. That guy who is loving himself unconditionally, which means no matter what. Yes, exactly. Oh, so much love in this world and so much light. (laughs) So excited. Okay. So, um, and when you come back here in two years, <laughs> we're going to have a, you're like, I just, I'm putting it out there. I, I'm not saying merit. I'm just, there's going to okay. be, there's okay. going to be an important man in your life when you come back on the show in two years. All right. All right. Putting that in the light. We'll see what's meant to happen. Okay. <laughs> um, and as always, everybody can contact me at therelationshipexpert.com. So thank you, Cam. This was so much fun. Always so much fun with you, Jamie. I love you. This is amazing. So much fun as always. Always. Thank you. And join us every week, Love Talk Live on LA Talk Radio, 5 p.m. Pacific. Thanks so much. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you. Bye. You're listening to Love Talk Live with the relationship expert, Jamie Bronstein, only on LA Talk Radio.